Hey guys, welcome back. Let's talk about Oakley flat jackets next. All right, so you saw the topic. Do I think these flat jackets are worth buying in 2023? So I'll give you a real quick story. I don't want to bore you with all the details, but I have I get migraines and I have awful sensitive eyes. Uh, I think most of us who have lighter eyes probably have the same issue. So years ago, the original flak jackets I wore for golf, uh, black lenses, they're fine when it's super, super sunny. But what do you do when it becomes either shady or overcast or you're, un you're in under a tree? Um, they're just too dark. So a couple years ago, I picked up the flak jacket 2s XLJs. Uh, with the golf specific prism lens and within two rounds they were just so light I think it let 28 or 30 percent of light in and it did me no good as a sunglass so it was almost like wearing tinted reading glasses because it didn't do me no good for the sun so last year I said I'm gonna buy uh, the dark lenses and try them all year and see what they do so I literally wore them every round I played last year uh, sunny, not sunny. I mean, I didn't wear them in the, in the rain, but pretty much every round I wore them. And what I liked about them is the increase uh, in contrast was nice. What I didn't like about them was they were not very good sunglasses. Uh, if you want them to just dark, darken the lens or darken your vision from the sun, they did an awful job. Um, they only, they let in 22%. And so, and I can show you, here's a good example. Um, of what it looks like kind of through the lens um, you know and then also if you look in the other way so you can kind of see if you can see my eyes you can see right through these there's really um, they're tinted so lightly that they're too light for golf and it's kind of weird because these are obviously golf specific but um, they're just too light so to kind of go through this so this year I started wearing these sun was out I get migraines from squinting. So if you're like me, uh, you know what it's like, it's awful. And I try to wear normal glasses, but I hate putting with sunglasses on. And I hate them even more when they're in increased contrast because you'll see breaks that aren't really there or they're too much of a break. Um, so I recently, the last few weeks, have gone to a deep water length, which still increases it. And I'll kind of show you the other view. So, and it still increases it, but it, it darkens the lens. It's not as dark as the black iridium or even gray, but it's kind of the fine line in between. So to kind of wrap up this real quick, I think Oakley's have incredible value. Um, I think the quality is fantastic. I think the fit for these, I think any of us who golf, I mean, they're just so easy to throw on, you know, take them off, put on the top of your hat, um, you know, a million different ways. You've seen everybody wear them however they want. I just think they're super, super great for golf. Um, the rubber ear stems, the rubber nose, the interchangeable lenses, you can pop these in and out. They're just great. The quality is phenomenal on Oakley's. Um, I really, really like them. I, I can give you a story. So my son played baseball for years and years and he would get hit by pitches all the time and they'd break and you literally at, at one point could call Oakley up um, and they would warranty them, especially when he was younger and they would give them new lens or new frames just with no questions asked. So their, their customer service and quality is great. Their functionality for these is good. I wouldn't wear these out. Um, you know, if I'm doing yard work or something, I'd wear these. But this to me is not a stylish looking uh, pair of glasses. They're great for golf, uh, but that's probably about it. You know, the pricing on these is with the dark prisms, 184. Do I think there's better value? Yeah, I, I think if you spend another 50, 60 bucks, there's Canon, there's uh, Maui Jim, there's Rain. I mean, there's so many other brands that I think make a better lens. Um, but I will say if you search the internet and you can find authorized Oakley dealers out there, you can get these for the 120 range. For 120 bucks, they're a great, great value. At around 200, Mm, not exactly the best value for sunglasses for golf, but really, really like these. Um, I have another kind that I'm coming that actually are like transition glasses that go from 0% light up to 
um, so zero, they won't, they don't block out any light up to, I think it was like 8% completely black. So, as, as, you know, like you've seen the transition glasses, as they get, the sun comes out and they get darker, the lenses get darker. So it's pretty neat. I can't wait to try those. Um, but really like the fit, love the functionality. I think the quality is good with Oakley still. Um, Warranty is great with Oakley. They, and the swappability, if you, God forbid, scratch a lens, you can get another one and pop it in pretty easy. You know, overall, what I recommend these, yeah, I still like my Oakleys. Uh, again, if, if, they, if I lost them tomorrow, what would I get? Probably with the same kind of style. Um, I can't wear normal sunglasses all day long. It hurts my ears uh, there. So I think Oakley's really a, a great job. But my point of this whole video is before you go out and order these, uh, especially with the, the prism dark lens, is try to find them in a store first. Because I think you're going to be disappointed if you think they're going to be dark sunglasses. They put out their marketing that it's a prism dark for golf. Again, they only say it's a 22% light transmission. Um, medium light and an increased increased contrast and the the lens itself for these guys is a rose colored so if you don't like the increase and you don't like the rose definitely stay away um, I don't mind it again but I won't putt uh, with these on my head ever because it just I just see too much into it um, but that's about it for today guys just want to kind of do a real quick review of how these have held up over the years uh, again do I like the Oakley flak jackets? I think they're great glasses for golf. I just didn't love the lenses, and I've been through a few different sets, the original Prism Golf, the Prism Golf Dark, and now um, the Deep Water. So the Deep Water has been my favorite by far. Um, but if there's anything else you guys want to see, let me know, and we'll talk to you soon. Thanks, guys.